What is up, Xbox and PC fans? It is Josh bringing you guys a how-to video today. And this is something that I run into all the time and something I think that you guys will find useful. Uh, if you ever have to clear out or just format a hard drive and you can't seem to get certain partitions on the drive to delete, I've used different methods for this particular drive and you can see that there is still some active partitions that I cannot delete using Windows, Disk Management System, etc. Even Acronis and stuff like that. I've been unable to actually delete these partitions. These were previously partitions from a RAID configuration, but this will happen even with non-RAID partitions occasionally that you just can't seem to move or delete uh, or clean off of your disk. So. I'm going to show you today how we can do this very, very easy. You can see that I have typed in cmd.exe and hit enter. Uh, you can do that for Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows 10, but you just want to run the command prompt. Again, it's cmd.exe. And once you're in here, you want to navigate your way over to the C Windows System 32 folder and type in disk part. Now, once you do that, it'll actually open a different application window and you can type in list disk to get an overview of what disks are currently connected to your system. And then once you identify which disk that you want to select, in this case for me, it's going to be the last disk that I plugged in, uh, which is disk six, which you can't identify by the size or by referring back to your Windows uh, disk management utility as well. But go ahead and type in select disk 6 or whatever number disk you're trying to clean, uh, delete partitions from, format, etc. And then once you have that disk selected, type in list part. Now this will actually list the partitions that are currently on that drive. Once that's done, you can go ahead and type in the word clean. And this will remove all the partitions from the drive once that's done, go ahead and go back to my computer, give it a right click, go to management, and then going to disk management. And once you start this application, it's going to tell you that you have to initialize the disk. Go ahead and do that under master boot record, hit OK, and you will end up seeing basically a blank disk that you can now format and partition in whatever means that you'd like. I'm just going to give this one large partition and we're going to call this Seagate 500. Quick format is definitely the way to go. The other one will take quite some time. So hey, go ahead and select quick format, hit finish. This will format the drive and then voila there it is you have a brand new space to put whatever data you like with no more pesky old partitions sticking around the drive is ready for use once again so this is just a quick way to get partitions off of a drive that may have had a previous raid configuration being used on the drive or other partitions that just are stubborn and will not move off of the drive so this is a very easy way to do this. Hope this helps you guys somewhere along the line. And I do have a big video coming out next for APIs regarding graphics, DX11, DX12, Vulkan, etc. So prepare yourselves for that. And in the meantime, hope you're having a great week and I will catch you guys on the next one. See ya.